question on everybody's mind is where do we go from here? With the recent shenanigans of the WWE just pulling us back in and saying this is the way it is and this is the way it's going to run. We have got a firm grip on the wrestling industry and we are really going to do it right this time and we are going to take it to the next level where it should be to where no one will ever question our authority. That's the way it should be. That's the way it always was meant to be. If you're going to be the number one company in the wrestling business, then you have to keep the people entertained. You have to pull the strings. You have to pull the rug out from under people. Because if you don't, then people will stop watching. But with what happened during SummerSlam, it was just amazing. Just the sheer just expectations and the the just what happened was amazing i haven't seen wrestling this good in a very very long time so the only thing i can say is it can only go up there's no going down from here there is a real reason to watch it we have expectations now we actually question what is going to happen we have interest again like to see how it's all going to play out. The stars are coming up and it's all aligning again. And it's just going to happen that way. It's just amazing what a show they put on and what they gave us. They threw us a bone, but there was just a little bit of meat on it to where we could get a taste of it. So maybe they'll throw us the whole thing next time. But anyways, just for that little taste of meat, and I've been waiting for it for a long time. I ate the whole bone. I took the whole thing. It was amazing. It was great. The WWE is slowly but surely getting a hold on wrestling again. Oh, it is so hard to listen to people on here say that Daniel Bryan got screwed. In the hypothetical sense and the theoretical sense, he did get screwed in the soap opera aspect of it. But no, he did not get screwed. He actually won the title. He's in the record books as having it. So that by itself is amazing. He is a champion now. Even though it doesn't matter if you hold it for a second, if you hold it for 20 years, you're still a champion. With the way that it was going, it was not meant for him to carry the company. They just wanted to have a little bit of momentum. They're not ready for him yet. They're wanting to actually build him up to where he is in just the stratosphere. He is over with the fans, but you have to change your whole marketability and everything. What a better way with Cena going down and having the surgery for Daniel Bryan to actually try to be the face of the company that we all know he can be. And he will get that chance again. But that's the point. He is more over and done more for his self losing to Randy Orton and having that cashed in on him and Triple H and the company screwing him he is better off than he would have ever been, ever been, having that title for another two months or something until somebody took it off of him. With the way he got treated, they really, really thought this out. And to have this happen, it's all got us excited. At least me, because I see the bigger picture. I know what's going on here. I've been watching wrestling for a very long time. And it's actually getting interesting again. And it's so friggin' exciting. I really love it. The fact that he did not win. And he did not get that title. And he did not get it. Just do a reign with it. Actually was better that he got it took from him. He won it. But he didn't get it. And that's, that's, that's the best part of it. Because we're all going to be tuning in now. It's fun again. It's interesting. We're going to tune in to see how is Daniel Bryan going to overcome the odds tonight with the McMahon and the corporation against him. It's the way it should be. 
the man that actually tries to take down the corporate big heads and the big wigs and all the people, the ex-stars that were in now their corporate sellouts and everything. He's got to take everybody down. He's going to go single-handedly one by one and take out the whole WWE. And then, and only then, will he be the big mega star that he was always supposed to be. And he will have it happen. But for now, he is the reason that we're going to be tuning in for the rest of the time. At least for the next four or five years. It's just, they can run with this forever. It is amazing. Daniel Bryan is the hero that has not been crowned yet. So I tell you that. With all the sentiments of a true wrestling fan and really want to see this, I really like Daniel Bryan, but he was better off getting the title stripped from him by Randy Orton than he would have been actually having the championship and having a run with it because they can do so many things now. It's going to be so interesting to see what happens, but I'm just glad that they did what they did. It needed to happen. It was the only way that they could actually have it go into the future because it was so stale, so stale that they just, they decided to do, go a different way and it was amazing. So we'll see what happens. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember, we all have a video camera, we all have internet, and we all have an opinion.